it's gonna happen, just you watch. <laughs> like the morning sun inviting the dawn to break. Like the joy that... Hi everybody, it's Friday. And that means that today was weigh-in day. Now we all know that last week I was dreading this day. I was really nervous because I had a feeling that I hadn't lost any weight. Monday, I also stepped on the scale and I had maintained that same weight. And you guys know, if you've been watching some of my videos, that Wednesday I had my marina taken out. And it feels amazing. I feel like in just the past few days, I've changed dramatically from not having my marina in. You guys know that I've been really swollen. Well, now I'm able to take my rings off my finger without hardly any struggle. I'm still kind of swollen, I feel like. But with the more water I drink and the more healthy things I eat, the better I feel. And not only do I feel better, but I literally weigh less. Today I stepped on the scale and I saw a number that made me very happy. 201.1 that means I had a 2.1 pound loss for the week and I feel fantastic about that I have to say that this week because I was having problems with not losing weight I really had an interesting shift in the way I was eating I stopped being so concerned with the calorie amount of things because I was kind of beginning to start calorie counting again um, I've been showing you guys all the food that I've been eating last week I started to become really concerned with the calorie value and how much I was burning off and all that goes along with that all the stress that goes along with that so um, what I did this past week I wanted to know what food felt like does that make any sense I would eat something and in my normal routine I would turn on the TV totally get distracted in what I was watching and just eat and eat and eat and eat not realize what I was eating well part of the eating guidelines according to Janine Roth is to eat without distraction and I didn't really understand why that was a rule and I thought that it was a really hard rule mainly because I love to watch TV when I eat and the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's because if we eat without distractions, then we can really focus on what we're eating. This week, what I really wanted to do was see how food felt to me. I wanted to eat and taste the things I was eating. And I, I think I was able to notice when I became full it was easier to notice when I became full because I wasn't completely mindless when I was eating. I was being concerned in what I was eating. I was feeling my body. And then the greatest thing was I had a moment to really reflect on what I had done. And I was really proud of myself if I made some healthy choices. Um, you know, I, I really felt good after I ate. And I noticed how the food felt within me and if I made good choices then I didn't feel heavy or tired I felt more energetic and more alive here is my calendar as you can see it's filling up quite nicely here's today the 19th and it is my second official weigh-in so um, as you can see I did a lot of food logging with you guys and writing it down and I worked out on Sunday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and on yesterday. Yesterday wasn't a very good workout. And I remembered that after I uploaded the video, I forgot to show you guys a picture. Here's a picture from yesterday's workout. Just a really quick one. You guys saw yesterday, I just had no energy. You know, I've been reading these letting go of compulsive eating daily meditations for you guys. Well, I wanted to let you know I got another one. I ordered it on Amazon. It was only a few dollars. Um, and I think this daily meditation thing is really helping me. I hope it's helping you guys too. But I love reading something and having a daily affirmation. And so um, I thought I would get a second one. I was looking through this one and I feel like sometimes they might not be applicable to what 
I'm talking about. They're, they weigh very heavily on the 12 steps. This one here is called Food for Thought, Daily Meditations for Overeating. If you watch my videos back from 2011, I was doing a little segment in my vlog called Food for Thought. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I can start doing Food for Thought again. October 19th is to abstain is to live. If we do not abstain from compulsive overeating, we do not live. We merely survive. Without abstinence, joy and creativity fade, and we are left with only the effort of getting from one day to the next. Abstaining is what we do each day in order to live a life that we want to have. There are good days and there are bad days and there are mediocre days. As long as we abstain from compulsive overeating, we are able to accept our passing moods and the events of each day with inner serenity. We make progress in our activities and in our understanding. We are alive to the possibilities of each moment. To abstain requires that we choose a long-term satisfaction rather than a short-lived indulgence. Thank you for the power to abstain. I really like that message. Because I can totally relate to it. You know, I mean, a few months ago, Everything that mattered to me was eating. I would wake up in the morning with the joy of the thought of getting a bagel. All day long, I would think about the food I wanted to eat. I would go get the food I wanted to eat, and then I would come home at an early hour in the day, usually around about 2 o'clock, and I would sit in front of the TV, and I would totally leave my body. I would just eat and eat and eat in secret and I would eat to the point of feeling so uncomfortable. I would just hurt. I would just hurt and I would be so embarrassed and I just couldn't leave the house. I was just so embarrassed. I wasn't living at all. We'd had, we'd had such amazing, beautiful days in the city, and I was inside the house, sick and full and miserable. So when I abstain from that, when I don't even go there, when I choose long-term satisfaction rather than the short-lived indulgence in that binge, when I choose life, then the quality of life becomes amazing and you begin to realize that life is amazing and that you have so much to live for and that food does not control you. Thank you for the power to abstain. Mmm, I had a really good day at therapy. I had a really good day in general. I'm doing really good. I'm feeling really good and I can't wait to see my weight loss journey unfold. I mean, I know that it's not easy, but I'm in such a great place mentally that I couldn't even imagine doing it any other way. I just feel so lucky. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I hope you had a great week. It's the weekend now. <laughs> I don't have to work tomorrow and I don't have to work Sunday. So I'm gonna be catching up on some homework catching up on some of your vlogs, some of your videos. I'm really excited to watch them and um, spending some time with Ren. I really miss him. It'll be really good to sleep in tomorrow and be with him. So I hope you guys have an amazing night. I will see you tomorrow for another video and thank you for watching. Bye.